Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and we are kicking off another Dawn of Man Let's Play today. Based on your requests in the comments, we are going to the Northlands and uh, going to have a good time over here. It does look fairly challenging. I mean, it's it's claiming to be challenging, but some of these milestones should be relatively easy. But uh, for some reason, they're considered milestones over here, so I'm a little worried, I'm not going to lie. Should be fun. I do need to keep my eyes out on the... Uh, tech tree mainly because this winter hunt milestone might get uh negated i suppose because i have to get a mammoth and a woolly rhino and they aren't available beyond a certain point beyond a certain age so i just need to keep an eye out on that before i get too gung-ho and just you know rush down the tech tree uh, apart from that it was also mentioned in the comments that there might be some interest in seeing the challenges like we could do the long march as well let me know in the comments again if you would like to see that as well and i'll try and find a way to fit it into the schedule or see how we can cover that as well um but for now based on the uh the comments there's a decent bit of interest in seeing the Northland, so let's head on in. Gonna be going to the Twin Lakes because that was also requested, and I'm also pretty curious about this area myself. Uh, we'll see if we can get to that third lake too. And over here, as you can see, grow and evolve your settlement in a harsh environment. The game straight up says that in the northern regions, long winters, short summers, and sparse resources made survival a lot harder, and only the most determined humans could thrive. So I'm very curious to see how that actually plays out. We're gonna be going into hardcore mode, of course, just to make things a little bit more challenging. And for the settlement name, a little tidbit, but I mean, maybe you guys will find this interesting. I, I find it interesting. Uh, but so I live in Toronto and in Canada, a lot of the place names are pulled from Native American words uh, or, you know, they were previously Native American words that have been anglicized a little bit. And what I really like about the names are that they are very descriptive. They're very beautiful and descriptive. So I'm pulling inspiration from that because long winters, short summers, sparse resources, this this might this might just be Canada, you know, way back when. So we're gonna call our settlement Wabigama. And I'm probably mispronouncing that, but Wabigama means there is a channel between lakes. And that's just very fitting. I was hoping to find something that, you know, referred to lakes, and I found something which was literally the description of our settlement, and that's kind of how these place names exist, um, at least as far as my knowledge goes. I'm not fully versed, so just, uh, you know, a little something there. Anyways, let's kick things off. All right, it's certainly going to be interesting taking things back to the basics over here. It's been so long, it, it'll feel a little foreign. Let's go ahead and put down the stick gathering over here uh let's go ahead and put down are there sticks over here or sticks over here but there are more sticks over here okay let's go ahead and put down flint gathering over here drink that a little bit one person for that one person for this uh we should probably get some fishing going make sure we have enough food to last us let's get fishing happening right away and let's go ahead and get some building happening as well we need a wood pile which we'll place over here close to where all the sticks are going to be coming from and we need a rock pile posted over here there's a lot of mining and stuff to happen eventually as well so we'll go ahead and drop it down over here what I'm planning with this playthrough, on top of everything else being a challenge, is I'm going to try and do things in a way that is a bit more haphazard. I try and embrace the fact that uh, we don't have a crafter. Oh, okay, I gotta get a crafter down right away. Um, sorry, I <laughs> try and embrace the fact that things were a little less um, grid-based back in the day. It should add a bit more challenge because it'll be an organizational nightmare. But uh, again, just trying to embrace not having a grid just a little bit all right so we got the crafter coming through we do have enough skins for that let's go ahead and build skins dryer as well again just trying to be haphazard but like obviously we're restricted by the grid that the game has so we're fishing we've got a crafter coming up we've got wood piles down we've got sticks being collected okay so we do have some children and we are kicking things off in the winter so let's keep our eyes out for potential hunts as well what have we got here got some wolves over here okay so let's not venture that way wow are there really no animals apart from this one that's a little terrifying oh no oh oh no we've got ourselves a uh, woolly rhino over here okay <laughs> okay 
What else do we have over here? A cave line over here. Do we have anything we can hunt? Oh, I'm actually a little worried, guys. Oh, this is actually rather terrifying. Almost all the animals in the area are dangerous except for this one over here. So let's go ahead and get that reindeer right away. Get our hunters. Is that really... There we go. I know you're fishing, but... Oh, you're coming closer. Yeah, come closer. Come closer. I, I need to get this hunt happening right away only because uh, I want to make sure we get more meat. We don't have that much meat. That's as close as you're getting. All right. Well, let's go ahead and you get the fish. No. All right. Fine. You know what? Let's move up. Move you up. I want them to go together because I'm a little worried that uh, one shot will send this thing running. And then if it gets too far away, we're not going to be able to get it. Oh, it's already moving. No, no. That's not what I meant. I hate. That frustrates me a lot. It frustrated me during my first playthrough, and it frustrates me a lot now as well. All right, let's get over here. Okay, let's go. Good, they've regrouped. I'll take a couple of hits. We'll get this reindeer. Get the knowledge point out of it. And once we get our first knowledge point, the first thing we want to get is food drying to make sure our food lasts longer, because it will spoil rather quickly. Um, and then we also want to get... Um, hold on, I want to see this hunt go down. Come on. Really? You wouldn't wait just one more second so your buddy could throw at the same time? Really? Really, man? Goddamn. Oof. Almost got a hit in there. We're moving into dangerous grounds, actually. We've only got a little bit of damage on here. This is not ideal. We got wolves over here. We got rhinos over there. Thing's gonna get away. We should probably just leave it. it might get trapped in this little area here. Looks like it. Buddy here is slowing down. Already tired, I guess. Yeah. Ranger has escaped. We're right here. That ranger did not escape. Come on. Hopefully it'll come towards us rather than go away from us. Man. Are you kidding me right now? Alright. That's a waste of a hunt. We're just wasting time up there. Come back. There, there will be more chances. There will be more opportunities to hunt. Right now, the fish will have to do. Alright, so once we get uh, food drying, I'm torn between getting bone tools and getting uh, tanning. Sledge making makes such a big difference. Sledges make such a big difference, I should say. But then again, sledges we don't really get up until here. But having light clothes for the summer helps a lot as well. Oof. You know what? Bone tools for sure. And, uh... I'll, I'll think about tanning. Because, again, if our welfare and prestige goes higher quicker, more people will be coming, and that'll just make us capable of doing more things sooner. This whole animal thing, or the lack thereof... Oh, we got another thing over here. Ibex. Reindeer. That's really far away, though. Hoping for more things closer. Maybe in, like, the spring and stuff. But for now, yeah, the fishing will have to do. Let's speed time up a little bit. And see if more animals come through. And comes the first snowfall, I think. Not a fan. Alright, crafter's almost completed. We can get ourselves some more spears. The next time it's time to hunt, we'll have uh, more people hunting at the same time. Maybe actually take down, like, a woolly rhino or something. Yeah, just absolutely barren. Absolutely, absolutely barren. Not good. Let's go ahead and put down some more work areas as well. Just so that when the time comes... Uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and put down a fishing area. I'd rather manage that more specifically. Uh, let's get ourselves collecting and harvesting wild plants. I thought I saw... Yeah, a nice big shop over here. Do that. And if I'm not mistaken, children can do that, so that'll make keep them productive. Nice and helpful. Yeah, we're running out of skins. Now, how much does it take to make a hut? Two. Maybe we do that before anything else, just to make room for more people to arrive. 
And again, I'm trying to keep things a little on the haphazard side. I'm going to try and avoid that grid structure as much as possible, just to add that extra bit of challenge. Again, feel like it's actual city planning from back in the day. All right, our skins dry has been completed. Excellent, we need two more knowledge points. I'm guessing we're gonna have enough sticks. There we go, one more knowledge point, which if we could have killed that animal, we would have had, but no, of course not. We are not ready to take this woolly rhino on. Let's get some more spears done, and maybe when we can get a hunting party together, we'll go chasing after that rhino. For now, though, let's speed time up a little bit. We're safe, too. Wow, this winter is quite long. I thought we were already maybe over halfway through it, but it feels like we're just about a quarter-ish way through it. But maybe these winters are twice as long. Oh, that rhino is coming really close. I don't like that. Okay, good. Are rhinos naturally aggressive? I mean, if they perceive me as a threat, then they'll surely attack me. Wait, what are you? We got lions. All right, we got lions. There's that reindeer that I couldn't finish hunting. Still nothing getting too close. I mean, I don't want that cave lion to get too close, but... Gonna be running out of... Well, we've already run out of skin. So... Come on, boys and girls. Let's get that fishing happening, so at least we have enough food. Already run out of fish over here. Fair enough. Fishing over here. I could add to the fishing over here as well. Okay. Get it done. Alright, good. Other spears being made. We've got another tent as well. Hopefully that'll invite some more people. Our welfare is at 100%, so that's actually excellent. Oh. Okay, still 100% rounds up, I guess. So hopefully that'll attract some people. And uh, we'll just be able to assign more tasks. Like you. You have a spear, but nothing to do with the spear. Because... Because we have no fuel. All right, well, if are we not gathering sticks? We're out of sticks. See, I don't like that this doesn't um, tell me that this work area has been exhausted. Let's go ahead and edit you and move you up to here. You know what? Let's do this. So hopefully when these sticks come back, they'll start returning to this stick pile. All right, speed things up. We need those sticks. I got a meat. That meat is probably spoiling. Still fishing over here. I could lie, I'm a little concerned. We need to get a storage tent down as well, but a storage tent. Wow, that's yeah, four skins. Hopefully, animals are a lot more plentiful in the next couple seasons. Otherwise, we're in trouble until we can hunt down that rhino. Where'd that rhino go? No rhino. I'm going to need you at some point. All right, we got some animals over here. They're kind of far away. But if push comes to shove, we'll have to go there. Um, okay, we got sticks coming in for the earth. Fishing. All right, good stuff. I might need to get a storage tent down. Soon. Well, let's speed time up and see if any animals come through. If they get close enough, we'll send a hunting party because I, I do need to hunt. Oh, are they coming closer or are they going farther? Farther. Oh, nope. Turning around. It's actually funny to see them being led, kind of. Oh, that's very close, actually. They're coming to the water. Yeah, I kind of want to send multiple people. Because I know that this thing's going to get away. And I know, I know, I've been told that I micromanage too much, and this game isn't about micromanaging, but as we've seen countless times, animals tend to get away when you send one person to hunt after them. Really frustrating. Alright, we're regrouping over here, we're gonna move over, hopefully they'll take their time drinking. Maybe we'll catch them somewhere over here. That'll be nice and helpful. Very nice and helpful. This is rather adorable, actually. Oh, that's terrifying. We're, like, coming in from the side over there. Don't mind us. I want to get that male. Probably the most meat and skin to be had. Come on, start sneaking. Oh, dear. How badly is this going to go? Very badly. 
gonna get away, isn't it? Turn around, get this thing. Get this thing. Get anything. Ooh, this one's actually pretty badly hurt. Get this one. There we go. One more. Come on, come on, come on. I just need one more hit on that one. Wow. Uh, interesting throws. Um, I'll take it. We got one person going up there. All right, cool. Can you come up over here to hunt these? Jeez, they ended up so far away. They ended up so far away, but at least we're butchering it right away. Three skins, four meats, two bones. Fair enough. Anything over here that's already hurt? We got an adult female. We got this adult male. What about over here? Oh, yeah. There we go. Down you go. Oh, are you kidding me? That's what I mean. They should have regrouped and thrown at the same time. Don't be such fools. You hurt? You're not hurt. You're tired. This will tire up pretty soon as well. Hopefully we'll be able to close the gap. Alright. Good stuff. We have skins dryers. What I need is... Uh, Food drying. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a food dryer over here. Now let's build another skin skins dryer over here. Now let's build another two. Let's build five. <laughs> up the number as we went there. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a pain to collect from this far away, but it's okay. Okay, you're coming through. At least we can reach it. I was really worried that we wouldn't even be able to reach it. Where's that last animal we were hunting? Where's that last animal we were hunting? Let me see our uh, tasks over here, activity. How far along have you gone? Oh, no, there we go. We actually got it. Excellent. Excellent. All right. That is going to be quite helpful. Because we can actually keep uh, building things. I need to get a storage tent down. We got the storage tent down somewhere over here. Maybe in front of the uh, food dryer. Alright, we have survived the winter. That was... I was actually really worried there because there were no animals nearby. And if that's going to happen every winter, we really need to figure out stockpiling much better. What do we got over here? Bison. Alright, great. Lots of ancient bison. Hopefully we'll be equipped to deal with them soon enough. How many spears do we have? We've got six spears. So enough spears for the population. Uh, wooden harpoons are next. I need to get enough bifaces for the population as well. God knows I've got enough flint. And this stuff is gathered, what, in the summer? Summer. Do we have a work area put down? I thought I... Yeah. It hides behind the trees. But we need to get these done quickly because otherwise a lot of our skins will spoil. In fact, let's prioritize these. Almost tempted to cancel this. But no, we need uh, we need food dryers as well. Otherwise, our food is going to spoil. <laughs> so one way or another, it's all going to fall apart. All right. No more flint to be had over here. We need to find another flint area. The best way to do it is actually to just go with the place work area, hit up the obtained flint, and then wait until the circle turns yellow. All the way over there? Are you kidding me? It's got to be a better spot. Wow. Pretty far. What are you going to do, though? Jeez. We are low on resources. I have to be a lot more careful. And let me guess. this We're out of sticks. No, we got sticks still. He's making buy faces though. Alright, fair enough. I'm gonna make sure this stuff gets built. What are you doing? I was hoping they'd like gather sticks or something. Alright, this is almost dry. We can do two at a time, so that's good. There we go, this is gonna get built. Really worried about the raw skin just spoiling. Because yeah, look at that. It's already at half. Already at half. 
is getting done. And again, once we have five, that'll be another knowledge point. And I do think the next thing we'll get is uh, bone tools. Getting the bones we need to make uh, more tools. So let's let's go ahead and do that. And that way we'll save sticks for uh, for other purposes. Do I go chasing after the woolly rhino? Probably not a good idea. The good thing is that the woolly rhino at least attacks. You know what I mean? So that means that we're able to... Um, it comes to us rather than runs away. So I'm actually quite tempted with six spears. Not sure how much damage each spear does, but... Hmm. What do I want to do here? Get you two hunting. Get this megasaurus. You know what? That adult male is already hurt, so... Do that instead. Alright. Let's hope that works out. Again, keep the meat and skins coming through. That way we can build more things. I would like to get a storage tent done soon. Oh. You're, you're already hurt. One more hit. I need one more hit. Probably actually two more hits. Come on, baby. Don't get too far away. Don't get too far away. Could turn around and hit you instead. Of course, we don't wait. Alright, let's go up here. Like a mad dash kind of a hunt. Alright, so you are kind of stuck in this corner a little bit. There is a little gap over here, but... We get some good hits, we'll be fine. We are out of fuel, so hopefully we get some more sticks picked up soon, please, and thank you. Alright, good stuff. I think it's just because I've set the skins dryer as a priority. We are not keeping, uh... Not keeping enough sticks aside. Or, uh, for use as fuel. What's going on over here? Alright, almost time, come on. Drop this thing. Nice! And this one. Nice. Alright. Cut it up. And cut it up. Or just sit there idle. Because you don't have a biface. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. At least we've got this one being cut up. Good stuff. Meat and skin coming through. We have no fuel still. At least it's not freezing, right? 14 degrees Celsius. That sounds positively balmy. I'm in Toronto where it's negative 6. Feels like negative 11 probably. The wind chill and all that, so this is beautiful weather. 14 degrees centigrade, beautiful weather. Cancel the auto uh, spear production. I mean, there's no need to cancel it, actually. Go ahead and do that. Raw meat acquired times 10. Hopefully we'll do the same with skin soon. Just speeding time up a little bit so we're not watching all this progress slowly. Wow! Lots of more animals over here now. We've got horses. we got... Is that an oryx? we got... More woolly rhinos over here. Alright, well that's promising. That's promising. Summer now. There's our 10 raw skins. Uh, that Summer means that the kids can go and collect raspberries and blueberries and stuff like that. Blueberries? Blueberries? <laughs> Blueberry. No, blueberry is that fashion brand, isn't it? Right? Hell if I know. Um, Alright. Why are more people not coming? Maybe they'll come in the summer. Because God knows I could use some more people here. God knows I could use some more people. Rhinos as well, damn. Very tempting. If the rhino gets too close, we might hunt it. It is very tempting, though. And we do have enough skin for, uh... We do have enough skin for a storage tent. I might set you down to normal priority because we need to get this thing done so we can start drying some of our raw meat. Fishing will kick off soon. There we go. There's the other knowledge point we need. You know what? Let's actually cancel that. Cancel that. Because I would like to um, get bone tools happening soon. Storage tent happening over here. Like that. Again, this just makes sense. Even with like haphazard construction, it's like, yeah, okay, they'll keep storage near where the food and the skins and stuff is all happening. I think this still makes sense. It's fine. We're still bringing in flint as well, but it is quite far away. Keeping that at 10, uh, 10 at a time, so we're not wasting time on it. All right, good stuff. This can dry a fair bit of meat at the same time. So we'll almost have all of it. 
Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. What else have we got going on? Rhinos, what are these? Bison. Lions? Lions. More lions over here. Okay, a little terrifying. Or Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus? Megaloceros is going off to get a drink on its own prime target, but unfortunately probably a little too far away for me to bother right now. Oh, there's the other one. I think we're all harvesting the animals over here still. Yeah, there's still a lot to be had over here. Yeah, there's still a lot to be had. Good, good, good. And once we have bone tools, we'll have enough uh, bone to actually replace all of our spears, so that'll be good and helpful. Sure, get a harpoon done. One's not the end of the world. And we are uh, really not collecting sticks quickly enough. I'm wondering if I set two people to do it. And see, here's why sledges are going to be very helpful. Like, damn, this would have been one trip, maybe two trips at most to get all of that meat and skin and stuff. So definitely need to get sledge making as soon as possible. But obviously that's in the next age, that's in the Mesolithic era, so there's some time before we can even begin that conversation. Rather, there's some time before we should begin that conversation. We can begin it whenever the hell we want to. Oh man, this is a great little watering hole over here. There's a lot of hunting to be had over here if we can capitalize on it. Yes, two new humans have joined the settlement. Where'd they go? Doesn't matter, they're here. Good. More people working. So, how do we take advantage of this? Let's go ahead and see our uh, knowledge progress over here. Uh, two more tents, alright. A lot more hunting. The skin dryers need to be completed. The food dryers, we can get five food dryers, that'd be great. Let's go ahead and... I'm almost tempted to increase how many people I have collecting sticks. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's set this to 15. 20 even. Because we know we're going to rely on sticks a lot in the near future. Alright, bifaces are being made. We've got uh, skins outfits being made. That's good. Make sure no one's feeling too chilly when the winter comes. Alright. Need to get more sticks. I think the fact that we have two people trekking back and forth non-stop. It looks like it's all been taken care of though, so that's good. Alright, now we have two more people being a bit more effective members of our uh, society. This is interesting. Okay, so a lot of people actually do... A lot of people, a lot of animals do come here in the summer. A lot of lions come here in the summer as well. This is good, this is good. This is very, very good. So we really need to take advantage of the uh, the summer months. Oh, such a tempting hunt right now. Adult female. Got a lot of our hunters right here. Do we do it? Like, that could alone last us the winter that's coming up. Get in the way. Oh my god, it's tempting. Risky, though. And there's the fall coming in. I think I might. I think I might. Buddy here is going to eat, though. A lot of people. Are you a child? No, you're a trader. Okay. Got a trader coming through. Mm. I think let's do it. Let's try and get the child first, and then the mother will attack, and we will uh, we will then take the the mother down. And then hopefully we can finish this uh, storage tent off. Now trader has arrived. Nothing I care for just yet. I might try to purchase tanning. We'll see. Oh, this isn't good. Wow. That uh, took a lot of effort. But we've hunted one down. That will give us the knowledge point. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. I'm not going to lie. Oh, they're running away. All right, child. That mother just abandoned its child. Is he coming? How many will die? Okay, we're good. No one died. Excellent. That was actually very concerning because, uh... 
we started losing some health there really fast. Really fast. Like, one more strike in a couple of these areas, that would have been really bad. But that meat and skin will last us a very long time. We need more storage, that's for sure. You, what do I want from you? Not much after that hunt. Um, yes. Yeah, we, we don't have enough to trade out. We don't have enough to trade out. So for now, I'll leave it. I'm not in a rush just yet. We'll let the next trader come through. It's a little unfortunate because this one does have low commission. But we just don't have what we need. I should make more harpoons just for the sake of trading them out. All right, I guess they'll have to be gone. But we do have the knowledge point required to get bone tools. Let's go ahead with bone tools. All right, so bone tools means we're going to get bone spears and bone harpoons. Set that to auto, and over here, set this to a priority. We have the sticks. And that was, uh, I was a little terrified, I'm not going to lie. A little terrified. Yeah, trader, leave. I don't need you here. Any more skin dryers completed. Get this, uh... High priority storage tent completed, please. Launch points coming in fast. There we go. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. And now we've got what is this? Oryx? Yeah. Traveling through. I could try to hunt them as well. If we're able to take down a woolly rhino, then. Uh, oh my god. I don't think we need to take anything else down right now. Jesus. If we had a couple sledges again, this would have been so much faster. I learned my lessons from last time. I'm hoping to actually apply them here. All right. So next, see, it doesn't matter if I get tanning now. Sledge making is in the Mesolithic era. So let's be patient. Do I get sling making though? Wow, that was fast. Or do we start making flint tools? You know what? We just started with bone tools. Let's stick with that for a bit. I think, though, we maybe want to take sling making. Again, trying to take a very different approach from last time here. We'll go with sling making. We should be better at hunting. I assume that's what slings... I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure slings are better for hunting and defending ourselves and fighting. But tanning helps us with... warm weather clothes. And then, of course, there is spirituality. Get totems and all. Okay, well, I haven't even put down any skull poles yet. So let's go and get um, sling making first. Okay, sling making unlocked. So let's go ahead and get everybody slings. No, not everybody slings. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and I want to check something really quickly. If I take a look at our knowledge progress um, in terms of tools, six more wooden spears. Nine more wooden harpoons. Do you want to waste the resources, though? Hmm. Not just yet, I don't think. Not just yet. Got sticks being collected still. Yeah, there's still some sticks over here. We, I, I think we have enough meat for, um... I think we're going to have enough meat for the winter here. That was an insane hunt. <laughs> that was an insane hunt. Uh, I'm going to get myself another food dryer. In fact, two, three, four, five. Get all that done, and let's get some more people collecting sticks. I need sticks. I need sticks bad. Yeah, I don't need to hunt anymore right now. The only hunting, the only reason I might do any hunting right now is uh, for knowledge. Got the dry skin. We got slings being made. I think I just heard a woolly mammoth. As long as you're not attacking me, we're okay. Oh, would you look at that? Little young female mammoth over here. All right, well, I'm definitely glad to see these big, big animals coming around these parts. Gonna make my situation a lot, uh, a lot better. We have enough outfits for everyone. Yes, we do. Uh, we, we maybe should get tanning next, just to make sure that people aren't upset during the, the hotter months. 
Because our welfare is at 96%, our prestige is at 15. People are pretty happy overall, which is good. I'm guessing it stays pretty cold even during the summer. I should have checked the summer temperatures, actually. But no one was complaining about the lack of... Uh, I guess it's because we don't know about warm weather clothing. We can't complain about warm weather clothing. We just walk around naked. Well, almost naked. Blowing cloths, of course. So, fair enough. Okay, got our 10 slings done. Alright, I'm wondering if we put down another tent, actually. Let's go ahead and build another tent. See if we can't get more people coming. Now when our, uh, you know, welfare and stuff is high, people are more likely to come through. God knows we have the skins for it. Oh, are you attacking us? Where are all of our hunters? All of our hunters are gathering sticks. This mammoth is right here, ripe for the picking. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. Yes! Yes! Excellent! I didn't need it, but, you know, that worked out quite nicely. Why are these mammoths so badly hurt? They must have been attacked by something. Oh, it's these cave lions. Well, I guess I gotta thank these cave lions. Wow. So we have another hurt mammoth somewhere over here. Wow, these are a lot of lions, actually. And they are terrifyingly close to this uh, harvest spot. So let's go ahead and edit that and move it over to here. <laughs> I'll feel a lot more comfortable with that, actually. Alright, good stuff. More skin and raw meat and bone to be had over here. Excellent. Excellent. And I could actually, you know what? Get 10 spears being made. So we can sell all of our wooden spears. Alright. These are getting made so we can actually start drawing, drawing? Raw, raw, curing meat. I was going to say cure, and then I saw the word raw, and then craw didn't sound like a word in my head, so I just went with draw, which was the closest sounding word. Oh, was that nonsense. Alright. We're good, though. This tent's being built as well. Hopefully more people will come through. Madness. Madness that this meat and stuff is still available. Get it before it all spoils, though. Hurry it up, people. Did they just eat? No, it must have spoiled. All that stuff must have spoiled. Ah, this raw skin is going to spoil as well. That's pretty, pretty bad. That's pretty wasteful. I wish I could prioritize which resources to pick up. Yep. Those beautiful rhino hunts have been... Wasted. Not, not entirely, but, you know, still, it wasn't perfect. It's okay, though, because we have this mammoth hunt. The remnants of the mammoth hunt. Good stuff. Wow, we don't even need to eat fish this time around. We got our skins dryers built, so that's the knowledge point I need for the tanner. Okay, here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to build a skull pole. Where? Let's build it by the fire. We gather around our... Uh, Around the gods we worship. Our, our our god eats with us, of course. Or our gods. Our ancestors. Maybe that's what the skull pole is. I don't know. I don't know. Something. We'll think of something. But, uh, you know, I like the idea of eating with the, uh, with the gods. Or the symbol of the gods, as it were. So that's that. Now, with that out of the way, it'll be a while before I need spirituality. So let's go ahead and give ourselves the tanner. Okay. Because now we're actually going to worry about um, warm weather clothes. We need to start collecting tannin right away, which there is clearly a lot of, so that's good. Let's build ourselves. Now again, just thinking logically, all the skins are over here. Then even the people you know, in this time frame would be like, well, you know, I don't want to walk too far. So I'm going to put my tanner down over here. I need logs. How do I get... Okay, so I, I need composite tools. Damn. 
All right. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. That's fine. Hopefully a trader will come through with some logs. But that just means we got to get composite tools next. I wish I had noticed that. That's fine. Go ahead and put a couple of you down. By which I mean... Five of you down. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's try and get those knowledge points as soon as possible so we can um, research composite tools and get axes happening. Again, wish I'd remembered the whole uh, log thing for tanners. That's fine. What else can we do for knowledge? Get some more raw fish. So let's get people fishing and let's build another tent. Cool. Fish here. Fish here. And build another tent even though we don't need it. That uh, sounds like a plan. Bam. Alright. This is all good. Man, that is so much meat. So much meat. At least people will be happier now because we've got the skull pole up. And that helps our prestige. So we're up at 18. Welfare is still 96%. Doing pretty well so far. Doing a lot better than last time at least. On a much harder uh, map as well. So feeling okay. Feeling alright. If we can get these two done, that'll be... Or these three done, I should say. That'll be another knowledge point. We just need sticks. Just need sticks. We got sticks. Also got eight bone spears so we can get rid of all of our wooden spears. And we've got all the bifaces we need. We can get rid of some wooden harpoons as well. Is there another knowledge point coming from these bone spears? I forget. Yep, there it is. Ten... Get, uh, leather outfits happening. At least turn that on so I don't have to remind myself later. We are out of raw skin. So once the summer months come around, once the hotter months come around, we will have to go back to hunting. Get all the equipment or all the resources I mean we need. Still gathering sticks up here. Still sticks to be gathered. Not that many, actually. I wonder if we should move this to a more lucrative location. Except there are animals here that'll kill us. We go all the way over here for sticks? That's so far away, but... Better than not having any sticks at all, I suppose. Yeah, damn. There's a lot of scary animals. Fine. I, I, I think we do have to do our stick gathering from over here. Fair enough. Where'd you go? You. Edit you. Put you over here. Okay, now this should hopefully be done soon. Just gotta get a couple sticks. Ooh. Ooh, tempting. Tempting, but not enough people back here who can hunt. We don't have to fight. We don't have to fight. You've got a spear. Why am- Oh no, that's a harpoon. Go fishing. Yeah, there doesn't have to be a fight here. Oh, that's so cute. There. Just because I wanted that first animal hunted knowledge point. And because of that, we can now get composite tools. And because of that, we can now get... Axes. Oh, we've got enough flint for it. That looks like a cave line, so I don't appreciate this coming so close. The point that I'm going to have to attack you first before you attack me. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, cool. Hey. Hey. That's mine. said that's mine let's run over the hell away i'm gonna get that meat back pull you over to here protect my uh my home the hell do you think i am a pushover get away wolf oh feels bad killing young wolves not gonna lie all right well that's actually a fair bit of meat to be had as well i guess not a fair bit these are all small and, and young animals but hey at least there's some meat to be had 
Rhino, you're fine to get away. We, we have plenty of meat already. Get these axes done, shall we? Okay, all this butchering is taking place. Now, this is actually ripe for the picking. Right over here, your mother is... Ah, there it is. It's like, where's your mom? There she is. Glad I didn't pick a fight I didn't need to. We've got the skins we need for now. Actually wondering if I cancel... Because, let's see, limits... You are set to infinity. No, let's not do that. Let's set you to a maximum of... Fifteen. Ten. For now. For now. Just so that we can get these tanners done and get uh, some tanning happening. Because again, we're going to get to the warmer months and people are going to start complaining now. Because I've got tanning, I've had tanning. People are going to start complaining. I literally just said the limit is ten. There we go. Keep some of that raw skin available for, for tanning. We have an axe. I think we've got some axes, so let's go ahead and cut some trees down. A lot of these trees will actually provide us uh, with tannin, which is nice to see. Let's get these spruce trees down. Speed time up a little bit. Hurry it along. Make sure we get those warm clothes sooner rather than later, please, and thank you. You still going to pick... Uh, oh, Flint. Right. All the way over here. All the way over there. And what I could do is I could be making more wooden harpoons as well. Again, just to trade them out for when a trader comes through. More humans have joined. Anywhere else I might want to use the sticks. Apart from fuel, that is. Let's go ahead and get some wooden harpoons happening. And those are for trading. We'll see what value they bring in. Alright, we've got logs coming through to help over here. Alright, excellent. Got the tanners happening. Alright. Tanner has been completed. We actually have more than enough knowledge points for... Dog domestication. Bam. I had to do it. I need doggos. There we go. So now we're complaining about not having warm clothes. But, hopefully, we will work on that very quickly. Hopefully, we will work on that very quickly. Because, God knows we've got all the tannin we need. We don't actually have all the tannin we need. New human was born. We built our fifth tent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Caps at 15. Alright, feeling, feeling pretty good, actually. We need some skins to repair all this stuff. A lot more raw skin. So we do have to get some more hunting done. Wonder if we go chasing after those rhinos. Maybe they'll come a little bit closer. Already got 10 tan and that's excellent. I guess that's as close as they'll get. Do I send a hunting party out? I think maybe yes. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. But I've left someone behind who's making bone harpoons. Hopefully making some uh, leather outfits soon as well. Get rid of some of these flint axes. Add them afterwards. We need skins outfits as well, that's true. Alright, we're coming through. This should be okay, we should be okay. There's a bunch of us. Far away. Yeah, they're 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 getting pretty far away. Wondering if I should stop now, pull back, and hunt some of these boars or something instead. Oh no, you're you're drinking. Foolish rhino. Fool of a rhino. I wish I could get rid of this little green icon above you right now. All right, come on, let's do this. All at once now, please. Nope, of course not. Okay, at least it'll charge. All 
All right, good stuff. Woolly Rhino attack. Psh. Well, like I'm attacking the Woolly Rhino. All right now, you go after that. Oh, maybe even the Bison, because again, that'll be a knowledge point. There's a lot of them here, though. That's not a good idea. Let's not hit the Bison. There's way too many of them here. Way too many of them here. How much health do they have? 270. Oh, so they're much easier to take out than the uh, the adult woolly rhino. Okay, this shouldn't be a problem. Everything will get scared off, though, I imagine, once this starts getting attacked. Nope. Come on, just a couple more shots. Boom. Done. Excellent. That should last us a long enough time. I was tempted to hunt this down as well, but you know what? I think we've got enough here. You do not have a biface, so it's time to fall back, man. Okay, cool. Good. All right. Good stuff. Got a little distracted there. We've got some traders coming through. Anything I need from the traders? I don't really think so. They might bring some technology with them. They do. Spirituality. Got a wooden harpoon for you. I've got wooden spears. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do that. I, I commission as well, so. You know what? No. I'd rather go ahead and get this on my own. Do that instead. Get rid of spirituality. There, I can, I can do this. Where is our... This one I have two. Okay. There, and then give you one bone. One bone. Cool. I'll take that. We've got enough meat and skin and stuff coming, so that's all fine. Yeah, everybody here is picking all the stuff up. That's good. Want to make sure it doesn't get wasted away. This one needs to be butchered as well before it gets eaten by uh, predators. Scavengers, I should call them. And with our final knowledge point, am I ready to get spirituality? I mean, I might as well, because I have to actually get pottery to enter the Mesolithic Era. But, bam. Paleolithic Era completed already. Beautiful. People are hungry, but they seem to be happy overall. Welfare is at 86%, primarily because we didn't have uh, the right clothes for the, uh, for the summer months. But that's fine. That's fine. Not the end of the world. That'll just be for the one time... We still have a bunch of tanners to complete. Maybe I should make them a priority. I think gathering all that stuff is probably a priority, actually. Oh, and our first doggo. A young boy. A good boy. The best boy. The first boy. Oh. Okay. Dog's running around. Now, now. Don't have the raw meat, please. Milestone unlocked. Winter resistance. Have we survived five years already? Okay, no flavor text. I was getting my Sean Bean voice ready. My air quotes Sean Bean voice, but hey, all right, fine. I guess, uh, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, we have so much skin and leather. Oh, we also got protein hoarding. Wow, two milestones in a row. And no, uh, no caption here either. Again, it is a development build, so hopefully they'll be putting in some little, you know, quotes or captions or whatever, because they were nice. I mean, they're not the end of the world if they're not there, but it's nice to have, I guess. So hopefully they will happen. And uh, I, I... It's summer, so we need to get more warm weather clothes, guys. Get a lot more warm weather clothes happening. And yet at the same time, I'm not going to complain about collecting all these resources before they get wasted. They just literally waste away. We have so much meat and everything. This is amazing. I'm I'm rather satisfied. Oh, sticks. Are we not gathering sticks anymore? It's like, why is this slowing down? No, we've got more sticks to gather. Now, is there a better place we could be gathering sticks from? Yes, there is. So let's go ahead and move. Again, because there are trees, the trees keep providing sticks. The branches keep falling, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do that. That should speed things up a little bit. That should speed things up a lot, actually. All right, good. People don't have morale issues just yet. It seems like they're overall pretty happy on average, so I don't need a totem just yet, but I might get one made soon. Add it to the gods feasting with us, maybe. Down here, how are we doing, actually? 
Okay, there's still some time to gather all the raw skin here. Good. The storage tent, how are you doing? You know what? Not good enough. Actually need another storage tent. Yeah, I guess I'll put you down over here. So this is why one might actually build five storage tents when they're playing the game properly. All right, we've got more leather being prepared. Where, why are you? Why would you take it home? <laughs> take it here. The crafter needs it. You want outfits? Get these outfits done first, and then I'll set everything else up to um, be made. All right, we got five tanners built. There's our other knowledge point, but we need 15 now to get to pottery. Actually, that's funny. Pottery is available, but we don't have the art of pottery. We just have it for collecting water. I, I was mentioning in my previous playthrough that it would have been nice to see um, pottery as an art form as well. To see more than just spirituality act as a morale buff. Like, I like spirituality because it's a it's a culture thing. Uh, faith, you know, it's it's cultural. There isn't really anything else that is cultural in the game. We don't see, um, for example, you know, pretty pots making people happy. There's a reason why we got into all that stuff. And I would have loved to have seen it explored a bit more. That's, I guess, all I'm saying. We do have enough skins outfits. Yeah, so it is just leather outfits we're missing. And I think each one makes two. I believe. Let's just keep an eye out for that. All right, acquired 10 leather, There's some more, and we've got all this, wow. A lot of this raw skin will be wasted, actually. Hopefully, some of you are going to pick all this up. Looks like it. Cool. Very cool. Now, I'm wondering if we put down another tent, actually. Ah, let's, let's let all the skins and stuff be done first. Even though the summer months are about to come to an end. Go ahead and build a tent. Get you down. Here. Bam. God, what a mess. All right. Not too hard to make. We've got all the resources we need for it. Let's go ahead and dry some skin. There. Go ahead and do that. You've got enough leather over here. All right. All right, this this feels quite good. I feel quite good. Things have been not terrible, and we've actually been able to hunt some pretty dangerous animals without too much trouble. Yeah, we wasted a lot of skin there, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. There's some more raw skin here to be had, but it might actually disappear as well. Yeah, not the end of the world. It just would be nice. Just be nice. Okay, good, good child. You there. There we go. Good child. Smart child. Oh my god, there's a cave line here. Get away, children. Flee. Donkeys. Now, let's just check something real quick. I have hunted woolly rhinos, and I have hunted woolly mammoths. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So, I just need a cave bear for that one milestone. Winter hunt. Mammoth, woolly rhino, and a cave bear. Cool. Let's keep our eyes out for a bear, and then I don't have to worry about uh, our time period anymore. Though those woolly mammoths are really good for uh, skins and stuff. I'm gonna, I am gonna miss them. Okay, we've got enough outfits. Cool. There we go. Get all this happening, and let's get uh, more axes out. Get more axes out as well. Good stuff. This fall should go okay. What is this? Is this a lion? That is a lion. I don't like these lions getting so close to my, uh, my homes. The hell away, buddy. I don't like it when they're hungry, especially. But there's a nice juicy reindeer over here that I think it's going after. Yep. Wow. I called it. Down it goes, alright. It's not even gonna eat it? Oh, I don't like that you're coming back over here. That means you're still hungry. Yep. You better not kill my dog. 
You better not kill my dog. Okay, good. That would have made me very upset. Just a puppers. It's just a puppers. All right, so we've survived the cave lion attack. We've exhausted another flint area. Go ahead and see if we can't find another one that isn't too far away. I say as I move further and further away from our village. Village. It's hardly a village. I'm going to collect. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and obtain from here for now. Before we go far out. I believe there was one out over here somewhere. But let's just obtain from here. There's, what, 10 to be had? 15 to be had. And then we can mine it later. But, you know, we'll deal with that when the time comes. We'll deal with that when the time comes. But that time will not be now. It will not be today. Because we have gone over that hour mark that I like to keep these... Uh, Sort of limited to just to make sure that we stay, you know, keep, keep, keep things in check. Don't get too crazy. I'm trying to find a nice angle to kick things off or to, to finish things off with. There we go. This will be nice because I intend to grow down that way between these two lakes. Again, that is our namesake for this uh, little humble village after all. As always, if you guys would like to see more Dawn of Man on the channel, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference, especially since this is my second playthrough with it. Very curious to see just how interested you guys are. We seem to be doing a lot better with our um, welfare at 100% and prestige at 25. An excellent note. We're going to ignore this. An excellent note to end things on. Got enough flint for that? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, uh, as I was saying, because we need picks to mine that uh, flint. Uh, an excellent note to end things on. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. It does make a very big difference, keeping us alive and running smoothly. Uh, make sure you let me know if you'd like your name in the credits. Just leave a comment on my Patreon post, the latest one still. Uh, and until next time, again, thank you all very much for watching. It means ever so much to me. Till then, cheers.